So as the next one in the series, I wanted to talk about a topic that has been requested a lot and I get asked from students uh, a, lot, a lot of the times uh, this question and it is the difference between uh, IELTS test and TOEFL test. So there are some, of course, main differences. Uh, the first one being that IELTS is suitable more for the United Kingdom and um, Australia, I think, um, British English market, whereas TOEFL is designed mostly for America um, and American universities. Uh, also, IELTS, in my opinion, uh, is more academic uh, and more suitable for uh, people who know how to analyze uh, graphic materials, such as charts, because IELTS has that very famous part where you have to analyze charts. Whereas TOEFL is more designed for, um, you know, graduate studies, but also for um, internships or even job applications. A lot of companies in the U.S. will ask you for TOEFL um, test as part of your application. So um, I think that is the main difference. So depending on where you want to go, um, and what do you want to do? Do you want to uh, work or study? You should decide between the two. Um, another question uh, is related to the differences in speaking part because I mostly practice speaking with my students so there is a, a lot of differences between TOEFL uh, speaking and IELTS. IELTS speaking has three parts and the parts are really very specifically defined. Um, you can easily learn how to uh, answer these questions by a model. So if you go through these questions, you know, once or twice, um, the questions repeat a lot. And it, the first part is about you, about your preferences, about, you know, talking about everyday things. Uh, the second part is more about describing. So describing a person, describing a place, describing a, an event, a situation. Um, an object uh, and then in, in the part three you have to talk a little bit more about uh, some global issues so to speak talk about news and politics and stuff like that so there you need to kind of engage your uh, your personal opinion whereas in TOEFL uh, throughout the speaking part you need to focus on your personal um, standpoint. So what do you think about this topic? So there is a question where you have to decide between uh, the two paths you want to choose, like which one would you choose and why? So it really kind of uh, asks you to think deeply about your, you know, preferences, your values. How would you help a friend? How would you give an advice to somebody who needs help? Um, so that part is a little bit difficult for uh, in my experience for Japanese students, but for basically any student, because you have to engage your knowledge uh, in a way to, uh, to ask yourself, what do I really think about this topic? So for me, that's why TOEFL is a little bit more difficult, in my personal opinion. And then uh, also you have a part where you need to analyze the academic uh, text, which is a little bit more complex than IELTS, I think. So that part requires more practice um, from you. For everyone who is practicing uh, for TOEFL exam, especially for the speaking part, uh, is to go through as many uh, weird questions as you can find. There are a lot of interesting TOEFL questions online. Uh, I, ha I, I did it with uh, a few students of mine. And so the questions are really, really interesting. Um, from like your friend broke a leg and he cannot make it to um, to class, you know, what will you do? So just uh, w the more you go through these questions, the more you will engage in these situations and it will be easier for you to express um, your opinion. Uh, also, uh, think about your personal values, your standpoint, your views on life. Um, think about what you like, uh, your preferences, so that is also going to play into your answer. And, okay, there is one more advice uh, that I would give you. Uh, in TOEFL speaking, 
your answers should come from a very clear standpoint and you should really state your opinion and be very confident. I think in, in, in TOEFL the main thing is confidence, how you speak, how you present your answer and the tone of your voice, uh, how, how uh, convincing you are and of course, of course your accent. Uh, on IELTS, I think you can, there is a chance and there is a possibility that you will get a good score even if you are a little bit shy uh, and if you don't kind of uh, express your, your answers very openly and your opinions. There are many tutorials on YouTube online um, where you can actually listen to uh, the conversation between the interviewer and the student. Uh, there are many examples that you can find online, so I think you can prepare yourself very well. If you are engaged in an online school, then practice with your teachers. And yeah, I'm gonna uh, maybe think about a few more differences, maybe give some more examples uh, on a specific questions. If I find that a certain questions are really difficult for students, maybe I will do that in the future. So yeah, thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye.